back everyone. What we're doing today is we're going to go over how to clean and lubricate your AR-15 series rifle. Um, we are not going to do a detailed clean today. We're not going to do a white glove clean. We're going to do how I do it generally when I get back from the range. And uh, it's just a quick cleaning and lubrication for next time. Every maybe 1,000, 1,500 rounds I do a white glove cleaning with solvents and so on and so forth. But typically I don't do that and the AR really doesn't need it contrary to what your drill sergeant might have said. But um, we'll get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously make sure your uh, rifle is un unloaded. So go ahead and depress the mag release, no rounds in there, and go ahead and pull your charging handle to the rear. Visually inspect the chamber. It is clear, you're good to go. Um, we're going to go ahead and disassemble it, and the way you do that is you're going to push the uh, pin back here, the rear pin. And I apologize just for those of you guys that know how to do this already. This is uh, going to be for the absolute beginner who doesn't know much about their AR rifle and just brought one home. Um, also, go ahead and push the front pin out. You don't have to do that. There are guys that clean their rifles just uh, like this. But I do like to get the two separate pieces. It makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and set this aside for now. A little over. And go ahead and pull your uh, charging handle. And uh, that will pull out your bolt, bolt carrier group, and your uh, charging handle. And we're going to go ahead and disassemble the bolt <coughs> carrier group and the bolt. To do that, take out your little retaining pin here. Just go ahead and pull it out. It'll come out. Drop your firing pin. It'll come straight out. Push the bolt back a little bit. Turn your cam pin 90 degrees, which is what this little pin is here. Drop that out. Pull your bolt out. You can disassemble the bolt by pushing this, uh, this little cross pin here. You do not need to do it for every cleaning though. So again, like I was saying, white glove cleaning guys, I do that about every 1,000, 1,500 rounds. This is just a typical, I went out and shot 100 rounds at the range today. This is how I clean it. We're gonna get into what we need here. I have CLP here in a spray bottle. Um, CLP here in a uh, little oiler, it's a brown ales oiler, that way you can get into the little um, specific areas you wanna lubricate. And the only controversial thing I think I'll say today is I also have some uh, SuperTech um, lithium based grease. I do use grease, and you'll see that later in the video. But um, there's a lot of good gun greases out there. I've found that this stuff works just as well. I have a tube of Mobile One grease as well. That works just fine too. This is just what I picked up when I walked out here. Um, I like to use a couple of these polymer toothpick looking things. Uh, you can use metal ones like this, that's fine. If you do, just go ahead and make sure that you're using a soft metal, not a hard metal that'll, that'll scratch into your steel. And uh, a bunch of patches, or as I have here, cut up old t-shirts. A, I use this uh, Otis little wire to clean my barrel. A lot of guys use the old uh, GI um, cleaning rods. That's fine too. If that's what you're going to do, just be careful you're not damaging your bore when you do that. And that's really all you need. So to go ahead and get started with the cleaning, what I do is I spray a uh, one of the patches with some CLP. And go ahead and put it on my, my uh, little wire that I'm going to run through the barrel. And the reason you do that first is uh, that CLP or if you guys are using solvent, that's fine too. Um, you let that run down there and it's going to start breaking down the copper deposits that are in your barrel um, as well as some of the carbon that's in there. And uh, it'll start breaking it down and then that'll be, that process will be ongoing while you're cleaning your rifle. So you can go ahead and let that process work for you. Next thing I do is I go ahead and take a, a spray bottle, go ahead and spray that CLP right into the chamber and let it sit there. You're going to let it sit there for the same reason we're, we're letting it sit in the barrel. Um, it just goes, it just helps um, break down that carbon. And I do the same here on the outside of my bolt carrier. Get in there as well where your bolt rides. It's a chrome line surface so that area cleans up pretty well. We're going to spray down the outside of the bolt. You can just work that CLP around with your hands. And if you're using solvents, again that's fine. Your cam pin, I have enough CLP, I'm just working it around there. And the firing pin. Work the CLP around there, and as well as on your charging handle. And the last place I do is I close my uh, dust cover and just spray right in the uh, upper receiver. And what you're going to do now is uh, everywhere that you just sprayed, you're going to go ahead and brush. Now, a lot of people use a toothbrush. This is an old cleaning AR brush. You're just going to brush that CLP around, spread it around, let it start breaking down that carbon. And you're going to do that all inside the receiver and the outside of the bolt carrier and the inside if you can get in there which we can with this one but if your brush doesn't that's fine we'll get to that next and 
on the bolt itself. Spread that stuff around, loosen up those carbon deposits all around. Charging handle. Charging handle is really not all that important in all seriousness in terms of being clean. Cam pin. In your firing pin, obviously, you want to pay attention to where those carbon buildups are right on the end there. Or right, right here in this little portion. Brush in there. And uh, let that sit. <clears throat> now, for your lower receiver, um, the lowers don't need to be cleaned all that much because they don't get too dirty. But I go ahead and I always wipe off the hammer. Let the hammer go forward. Just inspect in there. If you see any kind of dirt and carbon buildup, go ahead and wipe it down. I don't on this one. So I go ahead and uh, release it. You do not have to always clean your buffer and buffer spring, but for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Honestly, I generally only do it when I do the uh, white glove cleaning again, which is about every thousand rounds for me. But just take your buffer out, wipe the outside down, any kind of carbon that's out there, wipe the outside of the spring. This is a like an oily rag. So some of the oil is gonna get on there. There are guys that do lubricate their buffer and uh, spring. And that's fine, if that's what you wanna do, it's fine. But I think just the bolt carrier riding back there deposit lubrication and that's that's okay so go ahead and uh, put it back in there one thing I should have pointed out though for those of you guys that are new to the AR platform the way you get that out is this little detent right here just go ahead and push that down and that'll, that'll help it pop out but that's it for your lower your lower is clean now moving back to your upper guys everywhere that you just uh, sprayed down with that CLP and worked around with the toothbrush all you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe it up now Go ahead and take a uh, patch or a rag or whatever you're doing and wipe that stuff off. One part you want to pay attention to is right there on the, uh, the face of your bolt there. Go ahead and work it around. Make sure you get all that, that CLP off there and get all that carbon deposits out. And you just do that until you're satisfied that it's clean. In the area you want to focus on, a lot of guys will uh, talk about the carbon buildup right here on your bolt. They say you got to scrape it off and all that stuff. You can. Um, the easiest way I found to get it clean is uh, scraping it off like I just said or they make this tool one day I may do a review on this tool just by itself but it's the cat m4 I wish I had that when I was in basic training let me tell you this thing uh, I'm not gonna do a full review on it but this thing will help get your AR clean in a hurry set that off to the side because not everybody has it so we're not gonna use it for the review but or for the uh, demo here I would wipe that off. As you can see there, give you an idea of what it looks like. That bolt is clean. I mean, it's generally clean. No worries there. Go ahead and wipe down your uh, firing pin. And again, guys, like I said, when you're in basic training and you had to white glove these things all the time, in my opinion, and I worked in basic training as cadre for three years for what it's worth, you don't need to do that. Uh, that's your firing pin. That is a clean firing pin for our purposes here. Cam pin. Wipe that up. Retaining pin. Wipe that up, set that off to the side. Now we're gonna work on our bolt carrier. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the inside there with uh, one of the picks that we're using. Again, if you guys don't have dental picks, or you can use pretty much anything in there. Now, you wanna be real careful if you're using metal like I am here, that you don't scratch that chrome lining, so don't push hard on there. And these are actually clay picks for those of you guys that are wondering it's a real real soft metal it's not dental picks if you guys google uh, clay working material these are soft like real real soft so they're actually probably softer than that chrome but it's what i recommend if you're going to use metal because it is very soft and you're very unlikely to do any damage to your firearm using these versus some of the dental picks that guys use out there all right so <clears throat> you can look in there i'm not sure how well that comes off on camera but that is pretty clean. One of the things that makes it easier to clean up, guys, is uh, lubricating these rifles properly before you go out. If you lubricate these rifles and you clean it within a day or two of getting back from the range and you don't let that carbon get hard, it will make a world of difference when you're cleaning these guns. Next thing you wanna do is clean right on top here, and just in that little groove, because carbon does like to build up in there. And uh, I'm just gonna wipe down everything off the outside of our bolt carrier here and any kind of all that CLP that's been working and breaking down that carbon from the beginning of the video where we sprayed it around just wipe it all up in a couple different patches here do the outside a 
And uh, a lot of guys will tell you you really don't even need to clean right down in here, but I do. And the way I do it is I just put a uh, patch down in there, work it around a few times, nothing too crazy. And uh, that's really it. I get it to the point that it comes out. You see how dirty that was? Now, I'm just going to do that a couple more times, and that'll be the end of our bolt carrier clean. So we're going to get into the star chamber now, which is right in here, for those of you who don't know. This is a GI bore uh, cleaning brush. If you do not have one of these, you they do help a lot when you're doing those white glove cleanings. That said, that's not what we're doing here today, but um, to use it, you just insert it on your cleaning rod and spin it around. It does a real good job cleaning out that the star chamber with these bristles here on the edges. One thing I found is if you actually put it in a drill with the... Uh, GI guide rod, hit it real quick on low, it'll make, you, it'll make it a lot easier for you, but we're not using that again. What I'm going to do here is since I already sprayed that CLP earlier in there, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, patch or whatever it is that you're using and just work it around. And one thing you want to do here is if you open your uh, dust cover, you can get almost that entire thing just from there. Uh, work all the inside edges of it, work it around, don't just work where you can see where those lugs go in, you know, that star chamber obviously is a rough spot to clean, but if you have an angled thing like this, an angled cleaner like this, it makes it a lot easier to do. But this one's actually not too bad, surprisingly. I think that CLP did get a lot of it down. But um, we're just gonna keep going around in there until it comes out as clean as you'd like it to. I'm gonna leave that decision up to you guys, but it's not uber, uber important that you get it real clean each time, because after you fire 10 rounds, It'll probably be dirtier than it, than it was uh, after your first run through. All right, guys, I'm trying to get a good angle there. If you look in that chamber, you see that chrome lining all around it. Obviously, this is presuming you have a chrome line chamber, but you can see all that chrome like that. In my opinion, it's clean enough for a uh, typical range, uh, post-range cleaning, which is what we're doing here. Now that we have it at that level, what we're going to do is I close that dust cover up. I'm gonna run these uh, one of these patches just through the inside on both sides of the upper receiver. Just on the sides to get all that carbon buildup that's uh, stuck up on the side that runs next to the bolt carrier group in there. And what I'm gonna do next is this side, which is still clean. I'm gonna use my angled cleaning tool again and get all around where the gas tube comes back because that part is pretty nasty, generally speaking. And just work it in there and keep wiping until it gets clean at least clean enough to where you're comfortable with it, put it that way. And believe me, <clears throat> those of you guys that have had to turn your weapons into weapons pools know that you can spend a lot of time in that area because um, the carbon will build up there quickly, which makes sense because that's where it comes straight back from the uh, gas, <clears throat> gas port. And just keep going until that's, like I said, as clean as you want it to be, as clean as you're comfortable with. For your charging handle, just go ahead and wipe the outside of it down. There shouldn't be too much carbon on it. And make sure you pay attention to these little raised areas here because that's where a lot of buildup is. And just take your patch and just wipe it on the inside there. Get all that carbon out. That's it. The last part I clean, guys, is the barrel. First part and the last part. So we went ahead at the beginning and put that CLP in there. And uh, the whole time we've been doing this cleaning, it's been working. Breaking down that carbon and copper. Again, CLP doesn't do the best job in terms of copper buildup, but it does do some. Um, that's why if you guys put a lot of rounds through your ARs, Every so often you want to run some bore cleaner down there to get rid of that carbon fouling because it will affect your accuracy eventually. But at the end here, we're going to go ahead and just keep running patches through the barrel until they come out as clean as you want it. Now this one's actually not too bad, shockingly. But uh, we'll keep running it through and uh, up next will be lubrication, guys. Right, guys we're gonna get into the lubrication here like I said this will probably be the only controversial part of this video but um, I've ran ARs for a long time I found this method works pretty well so if you disagree with it awesome rock on but this is how I do it so we're gonna go ahead and just get your hand a little bit of CLP on there and work it around and uh, we're gonna lube, lubricate a light coat of CLP around the bolt um, obviously you want to make sure you get down here as well around the uh, part that I was talking about earlier where the carbon builds up. And I take a little bit of my CLP here. And also, a lot of you guys out there use motor oil, and that's fine. 
no issues with that ARs. I think it does work relatively well. And go ahead and put that just a little ring around on the inside of your bolt carrier. I do that and I go ahead and put it in. And for those of you guys that are new to the AR platform, I'll uh, zoom in here for you. It needs to be facing like this. The extractor needs to be facing out because that's the way it's going to come out of your, uh, your dust cover. Take the cam pin and just put a, a drop of uh, CLP on there. I'm going to put that in. Again, guys, if you're using motor oil, I have no issues with that. I think it works very well as long as you're using this synthetic motor oil. All right, put that in there. I put no lubrication on the firing pin. Some guys say light lubrication, that's fine. I put none on there because I think if you do, it's just uh, more crap that can get gunked up. One man's opinion. Put the retaining pin in and make sure that we work it around there. Make sure it's working freely. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I worked, uh, like I said, in basic training for a while. I also worked on M4 ranges. And I can tell you the two biggest reasons I saw AR platform rifles go down is number one, magazines. Number two, the rifles were too dry and under lubricated. So just keep that in mind. Now I take a little bit of this grease. Again, any lithium based grease is what I recommend. Obviously there's a million different uh, types of grease. Good website if you guys are looking for info on grease is uh, Bob's, Bob the oil guy. But go ahead and just take a look at this is what I'm using. I've used it for a long time. This stuff will last your whole life and it works. And I go ahead and the lubrication points here, I'm gonna zoom in here for you, is anywhere that you guys are starting, this is a really new bolt. So anywhere that you see the wear starting, so right up in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease, and then right here on the bottom rail as well. And we're just gonna push that along the bottom. Okay. You guys can see there's starting to be a little bit of wear there as well. So a little bit of grease up front. Not using a lot, but this is how I do it, and it works well. Um, we're also gonna put some grease on the exact same spots on the opposite side. There you go. And as you guys can see, I'm not using a ton of grease. There are guys that really use a lot more grease out there, and that's fine. You know, if it works for them, it works for them. But go ahead and get it right on those spots right there. You can work it around there with your fingers if you want to make sure you distribute it evenly. But that said, all you're gonna need to do is cycle the gun a couple times, and it will be distributed. All right. <clears throat> and what I also do is I just take a little bit of CLP, put it on my hand, just put it around the back end of the bolt carrier so that way there's a nice coat of CLP on there. If you guys are using oil, just go ahead and put it on your same spots. No issues there. All right, and now for your charging handle. There's three raised areas on this charging handle. One right here and then two on each side. So go ahead and put a drop on there because those are the biggest friction points of your CLP. You're going to go ahead and put it back in your rifle. For the bolt, you got to shake it out, make sure the bolt's extended for when you guys are reassembling, those, guys, those of you guys that are new to the platform. We're going to put it right there on your charging handle, put it together, and that's your upper. <clears throat> as I said, there are guys out there that do lubricate their buffer spring as well as their buffer. I don't. That's okay. If you, if you do, have at it. But I think the bolt going, uh, bolt carry going back and forth will get some lube in there. I go ahead and reassemble the, the rifle, the upper and the lower, just like we took it apart for those of you guys that are new. Put the pins through. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cycle the action a few times, make sure that lubrication is getting around. Put the weapon. I, I keep the weapon on on uh, safe. Excuse me. Try to pull the trigger. Nothing happens. Put the weapon on fire. Pull the trigger. Trigger breaks. Cycle the action, release the trigger, it resets, and you've done the uh, cleaning and lubrication of your AR. As always, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. That's how I do it. There are other methods. They work as well, but that's how I do it. All right. Thanks, guys.